What the fuck? Okay, so I'm down here in the Snowies. I uh, drove down from Sydney last night and I'm down for a few days of just solo backpacking and fly fishing on uh, one of my favorite rivers. And I figured while I'm down here, I'd give a crack at filming a uh, first person vlog, which could go horribly. And this could be a very short lived vlog series, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens by the end of this trip. So I've got a little bit of a walk ahead of me. You can kind of see in the distance there, that valley, the river flows through that. Um, I think just because it's a bit of a walk, it discourages um, a lot of the masses of people that come here to, to fish in the snowies. Um, generally, the fishing is really good. I came here in January with two other people and we had a really good trip. The weather's meant to be good, more well, the forecast of that anyway, but as you can see, these uh, dark clouds are looking pretty ominous. So we'll see how we go, but I've got wet weather gear, so we should be all right. The good news is that I've seen heaps of hoppers just on the walk down here so far. So hopefully that means good dry fly fishing. Um, that's what I had back in January or Feb when I came here last time, um, which is just awesome fishing because it's, it was mainly browns between one and a half to two and a half pounds um, and rainbows in that same sort of weight class. Things come together, could be in for a pretty good trip or it could be a really bad trip and this footage will never see the light of day. We'll see. That is the first sneak of the trip. All right, we made it to the river. Just saw a snake right next to where I'm gonna set up tent. Um, but it's lightly raining now, so I'm gonna get the tent set up. Hopefully if it holds out, if it's just a passing shower, we'll go for a, uh, a fish this afternoon, but yeah, at least I'm down here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Not a bad spot. Water's good, but there's other beverages that are just as important when you get back to camp. Some people like to get all fancy and creative when they first get to a river, but not me. I uh, like the old, well, I try to fix what ain't broken. So size 14 Royal Wolf and 
It's going to have a pheasant's tail nymph trailing it. Just doesn't get any better than that. Alright, I'm ready to go. Uh, it's about 4.15 or something, so I'm not going to get heaps of fishing in this afternoon, but I'm just happy I've got the tent set up. Don't have to worry about that when I come back, just in case it rains again. We'll see if there's a rise this afternoon. Hopefully I can get one or two fish. If not, I'll have another crack tomorrow. I think we're going to have to try indicator rig and get deep. There's fish in here. Not quite what I'm looking for, but uh, at least it's a start. That wasn't quite as successful as I'd hoped. Got a few uh, little rainbows out of there, but I couldn't see any of those uh, browns that I saw on the last trip. Hopefully that's not a sign of things for the next few days, but um, yeah, I'm gonna head back up river now and maybe try a couple more spots and um, hopefully my luck improves. Lost him. Oh, that's a better fish. A little rainbow. Not a huge fish, but. Still a fish. There we go. Another rainbow. Man, that's crazy that they're all rainbows this time and almost all browns last time. That's a much better fish. Nice. Nice little fish. This lightweight camping chair is the perfect example of a strategic birthday present. I bought this for dad like two years ago and yet it ends up in my backpack today. Thanks, Dad. Backcountry meals are a godsend. Crunchy. Whew. Okay, that's a wrap for day one. Pretty happy with how things went, all things considered. Um, you know, got down here pretty late and the rain kind of changed the plans a bit but got a bit of fishing in, caught a few small fish. Um, hopefully tomorrow things pick up a little bit more just you know for the sake of making the video a little bit more interesting but um, you know either way I'm just happy to be out here. It's been at least two years since I've had the opportunity to, to do an overnighter and I just love being out here so 
Yeah, we'll see what day two holds. So seeing as my tent was covered in hoppers this morning, I think I'd only anger nature if I didn't throw one of these today. So, see how that goes. The sun's up today, which is a good sign. Um, just gonna boost it down river a kilometer or two, give myself about a day's worth of fishing back up to camp tonight. Hopefully be able to spot a brown or two with these better conditions and maybe, fingers crossed, I can capitalize. Okay, well I haven't made it down as far as I planned to, but I think I wasn't really counting on carrying camera gear and setting it up and constant stop starting. Hey, there's a little brown down there. Um, yeah, I feel like this is probably as far as I want to come today. I've given myself enough pulls to fish on my way back. Um, yeah, that's a good sign that I can already see one little, probably one and a half pound brown cruising down there. Um, but I still haven't seen any fish eating off the top which is a little disheartening, but there's just so many hoppers out that I'm just gonna throw one out there and see what happens. starting to look a little bit more promising. This is the first brown of the trip. It's got those awesome red markings on it. Awesome stuff today. There's fish in this pool, they're not coming up to the top, so I'm gonna have to go a deep indicator rig, unfortunately, which is a bit heinous, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Ate a natural right next to my indicator. Surely it will eat the. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. There we go. Oh. Sweet, that's nice. The fishing's been pretty tough so far, but um, this is a welcome catch. It's a nice two pound brown. Smoked the nymph, fought pretty well. Hopefully there's more of them in here. Yeah, really happy with that one. That's a good fish. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Stay. No, take on to that. Good, I just fell hooked in, I think. Bummer, fell hooked. I thought this was a much bigger fish. Still good, not bad at all, but. Oh. Oh. Oh, far out. 
don't really know what happened there. I thought I hooked a fish really well and like a really big fish, but ended up being this guy foul hooked, but yeah, I don't know if he ate it and then it pulled out of his mouth during the fight and hooked into the side of him. Either way, decent fish. for today it's been good fun it's kind of the opposite of yesterday all browns haven't seen a single rainbow today maybe tomorrow i'll have a quick flick going up river um, before i pack up and, and head out yeah great day back to camp now oh. starting to get chilly got to ration what camera batteries I've got left so I think we're gonna wrap things up tonight and uh, pick things up tomorrow hopefully have a nice little session before heading off and heading back home well that was a really average sleep I know what I need Sometimes when you're camping out, there's just some things you can't sacrifice, like chocolate powder on your coffee. There's no feeling better than putting wet wading socks and boots on on a cold morning. Ooh yeah, that's comfortable. Pretty overcast, cloudy this morning. The sun's trying to poke through, but visibility isn't great. I probably could throw the uh, double nymph indicator rig through this big pool just above the campsite, but I really just want to catch a fish on dry this trip, so I think I'm going to ride or die by the dry dropper. We'll see, I might get really desperate. hard landing. Go a bit further up, a bit more to the left in that bubble line. Oh shit. Alright, that's pretty far up. Wasn't sure if that was a fish or bottom, but there you go. Definitely fish. Took the nymph again, unfortunately. Hopefully that didn't scare anything further up. The nice brownie. Alright, gonna try a bit further up the run. That's right in the line. There he is. Another brown. Where's that rainbow? No, oh, it is a rainbow. Colors on that rainbow are real nice. You can't really see that. not expect that to get a fish right there. Thought I hit bottom, didn't even strike properly. Which is a worry since that is a barbless hook. Oh, that's actually a decent fish.
probably off. Wow, that was wild. How is he still on there on a barbless hook? <laughs> Come on, fish. Oh, why can't I turn you? There we go. Oh. Jeez. Well, that fish is a surprise for me. I really thought that I'd hook bottom because it was right over the top of some rocks that were sticking up, but it turned out to be a nice two pound brown. Never complain about that. That was a really nice fish. Um, I think I'm gonna end it on that note. I'm running pretty low on batteries and it's getting close to midday and I wanna give myself plenty of time for this hellish walk out and then uh, the drive home. So thanks for sticking around if you've made it this far. I have no idea how long this video is gonna go for. And uh, see you on the next one, if there is a next one. Oh. Okay, now the video can end.